Alright, hello everyone. This is Scarlet Jiro, and welcome back to more Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets. Last time, we got into this library, we dodged a whole bunch of prefects, and we got Scrubbing Bubbles, which can be used to clear this ectoplasm. This time, we're going to be exploring more of this place. Oh gosh, those things will attack you. And unlike another version of this game, you can't hurt them with Lumos, which is very annoying, but what can you do? There are books in here. I'm, uh, we're like how long into this episode? I'm already getting attacked. Like, stop it. Harry, 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 Harry. I can't attack these books. I can't attack these books. How on earth do I get out of here? Well, Harry, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know how you get out of here. But, be a man. Push the button. Oh, okay. So we're trying to unlock this door. Just dodge the books. Just dodge the books. Oh, we can hit that book, but not the other books. What? So we're going to try that. There's a ghost. That is not the most violent these ghosts can be. No ghost in that one? Wow. Interesting. The ghosts get worse. Alright. Stop it. Leave me alone. Alright. This one. Move! Do I really need... Ugh, I do want to keep that equipped. We'll just, we'll, just, we'll just use what we need. I like keeping this equipped. Boom. There are just two ways to get to the same place. Whatever. This says no ghost. Alright. Let's go back in. Okay. I think we've already unlocked this one. Do I want to use the in here? I mean, this is just gonna be a health item. Which I could use. Oh? Oh? Is that Goyle? This is the most random fight scene. I'm gonna tell you right now because it's just like they don't even tell you anything. And we're just gonna cheese it. Just cheese it. It's fine. It's fine. Just cheese it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't work hard if you don't have to. Don't work hard if you don't have to. <laughs> I don't have to do anything. And he's dead. He's just dead. I guess it's supposed to be Goyle. I guess? Okay, that's fine. Bye. <laughs> All right, here we go. Anything? Anything? No. What else do I have to do in here? Oh, there's another door we have to do. Okay. It's like they gotta give you a puzzle for every spell. They can't just give it to you. Come on, stop. It. Go. Alright. Up, please. Up, please. Stand. Back. No ghost? I'm surprised there was no ghost. I thought there would be a ghost. Cool. Whatever. That's fine. Come here. Harry, use those big, strong arms. A bar interpretation of Harry Potter where he just has like these big muscular arms. He's like seven feet tall and has like the most chiseled jawline in the world. I need to stop. Ghost? No ghost. Sweet. Uh, 
Uh, you can jump. It's okay. You're not going to take any damage. How fast do I get out of here? Harry, stop asking that question. You'll be fine. We could just go out the way we came. No, we can't go out the way we came because we the bookshelves. And obviously, this is how we get out. Anything? Nope. What's that? Oh, okay. That's just a portrait. Never mind. Let me stop. All right. Oh, what's y'all here? <laughs> I was confused for a hot second. Just like, where am I? What am I doing? What portrait is this? Okay. So we just want to go hit the book, Terry. Hit the book, Terry. Uh, and we and we always get hit by the book. There's just no way. There's just no way. There's no way. So we should honestly not have to deal with too much. It shouldn't be horrible. It shouldn't be too horrible. It should be fine. We'll be fine. It's fine. It's fine. There's not too much we have to deal with anymore. Since we got past the hardest stealth part of the game. Hello, thick woman. Alright, Hermione! I managed to get Hogwarts a history, but it wasn't easy. Slytherin ambushed me. Crikey! Can I have a look at the book, Harry? Here you go. Here it is. I'll read the passage out. Hogwarts was founded over a thousand years ago by the four greatest witches and wizards of the age. Godric Gryffindor, Helga Hufflepuff, Rowena Ravenclaw, and Salazar Slytherin. For a while, the four founders worked in harmony together, seeking out youngsters with magical abilities and bringing them to the castle to be educated. But a rift began to grow between Slytherin and the others. Slytherin believed that magical learning should be restricted to all magic families and that no students of non-magical parentage should be admitted. Eventually, a serious argument on the subject caused Slytherin to leave the school. He built a secret chamber in the castle of which the other founders knew nothing. According to the legend, Slytherin sealed this chamber of secrets so that no one would be able to open it until his own true heir arrived at the school. The heir alone would be able to unseal the chamber, unleash the horror within, and use it to purge the school of all who were unworthy to study magic. Blimey! I always knew Salazar Slytherin was a twisted old loony, but I never knew he started all this pure blood mud blood stuff. It sounds to me like the horror within mentioned in the book is a monster that only the heir of Slytherin can control. But what kind of monster? The kind of monster that can petrify a ghost? All this talk of monsters has given me the creeps. I'm off to bed. Oh, Ronald. I didn't know. I, I guess I never paid attention during that part. I didn't realize that she was actually just going to read the entire book. <laughs> I don't think I can read as well as Hermione. 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 There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's end it. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. Slytherin. Can I just say that I love that we're still in the lead? I was about to be so mad. And I'm mad that Ravenclaw is only at 219. Come on, Ravenclaw. You're like one point away from Slytherin. Come on. The dawn of a new day. We're not starting a new episode. Let's go see what class we have this time. Morning, Ron. It's Transfiguration first thing, isn't it? Yeah, first floor. I'll meet you there. Uh, is this the one I can't stand? <laughs> no! No! Hmm. Oh, set. Maybe I can put this off by looking for something that's lost and found? Why don't we put it off? Let's look for something that is lost and found. I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be fun. Give me a second just to look it up. So, lost. Toad answers to the name of Trevor. Property of Neville Longbottom. 
<laughs> Me and my friend have a joke about long bottom. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna say it right here. Long ass. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Last scene in the herbology greenhouse is it found. Please turn to this notice board. Let me see what we got here. So, I'll meet you guys back at the tours near the herbology greenhouses. Hello, Actually. Harry. People are saying you're the heir of Slytherin. Is it true? And did you really order that snake to attack your classmates? None of it's true. And I didn't order the snake to attack my classmates. I told it to leave them alone. I'll believe you, Harry. Though thousands wouldn't. Ravenclaw continues to be the smartest house. Actually, I kind of want to talk. So we have this next challenge chamber. Ugh. Let me save. No, I'm not. No saving. But we do have the next challenge chamber coming up, and it's a little. Is this the one I can't stand? This might be the one I can't stand. It might be. Yeah, it definitely is the one. Oh, yeah, because we have. We only have two more spells to learn. Yeah, it's a little. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's a little rough. And it's not even like the whole thing is rough. It's just one little part of this that's rough. For a game that's my favorite game, I like. I, for a game that's supposed to be my favorite game of all time, I do complain a lot about it. But you should be able to critique the things that you love. And I critique it because I love it. So there you go. Look at my house. Look at my house. Look how beautiful they are. Oh my gosh, the majestic, majestic eagle. Or is it a raven? Well, isn't it supposed to be eagle? Lion, badger. That's not an eagle. Someone, someone, put down in the comments. Is it Ravenclaw's mascot actually an eagle and not a raven? Actually, not. I'm gonna look that up right now. I was right. It's an eagle. Come on, come on now. Get it right. First, the Hufflepuffs are purple. It's like. First, the Hufflepuffs are purple. Now, Ravenclaw it now has a raven for a mask on instead of an eagle. Get it together, EA. I'm still trying to figure out why the Hufflepuffs are purple. Anyway, let's see if we can find Trevor. Is he in the greenhouse? He's supposed to be somewhere around here. I'm not sure if he's outside. He might actually be inside. Too bad we don't have Accio. Accio, Trevor. So let's see what we can do. And this might be it. I might just end it off here because, yeah, then I'm going to run around and get the wizard cards for next time. Which honestly shouldn't be much. Trevor, where are you? Where are you, little frogadocious frog? Side faffing? Yes, but completely necessary side faffing. So we'll grab Trevor, we'll go up to Gryffindor Tower, get the card. And then we'll end it off. <gasps> Trevor! Trevor! <gasps> I didn't expect to actually hit him with Fifflin Flippino. Oh, wow. I, I didn't. Wow. I didn't. I didn't think. I didn't think that it would actually... Like, flippendo him. I didn't think it would knock him down. I was thinking, like, I was like, oh, it's a, chocolate, it's a chocolate frog. It's funny. I'll just throw it at him. Like, no, it actually hit him. I feel so... I'm sorry, Trevor. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'll meet you guys back. All right. So, let's go turn... Neville. Let's go turn in Trevor and see what card we get. Hi, Percy. Shouldn't you be in Transfiguration by now, Harry? Stop telling me what to do. So now we're listing some scales. Not brass scales, just scales. Lost measuring scales, last seen near Hagrid's hut. If found, please return to this notice board. But we'll handle that later. Let's see what card we get. Number 49, Eladora Ketteridge. She, some of these witches are really good looking. Anyway, <laughs> Eladora Ketteridge, witch who discovered the use of gillyweed when she nearly suffocated after eating it and recovered only when she stuck her head into a bucket of water. How would you have known to do that? I'm not mad at her, though. 
All right, and with Elidor Ketteridge, we're going to be ending it off today. So, thank you all so much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Protect your peace out there. Be careful. Stay safe. Love y'all. Bye. Okay, now for the day three wizard cards. We're going to use our newfound scouring charm, aka scrubbing bubbles, to find more wizard cards throughout the castle, just like we did with Defendo. Number 71. Queen Maeve. Alright, Queen Maeve, legendary witch who trained young sorcerers in Ireland prior to the establishment of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Alright, we want to go to the fourth floor and we want to go inside this classroom. We're going to go through a lot of classrooms just to use our scouring charm once more. See that chest? Clean off that sticky ect ectoplasm and we get yet another card. Number 99, Daisy Dodderidge. Okay, Daisy Dodderidge, first landlady of the Leaky Cauldron. Alright, moving on to the third floor, we're going to go to the defense of the against the Dark Arts hallway. Right back into the classroom where we met our hero and the most important character in the game, Gildroy Lockhart. The gilded man himself. But we won't be doing anything with him. We're going to be cleaning off yet another chest and getting another card. Number 93, Heathcote Barbary. Okay, Heathcote Barbary plays rhythm guitar with the popular wizarding band, The Weird Sisters. Alright, now we have to go through the library once more. Instead of going to where we were going, where we went to go use Defendo last time, we're going to be going up to the right side. We're going to see a door, clean up the ectoplasm. And there's lots of ghosts in here, we don't want to get caught by those. But we're going to open one chest, and we're going to see that there's an owl treat. Hmm, I wonder what that's for. But, despite that, moving on from that. Let's dodge a few more of these ghosts and go on to get our wizard card. Number 10, Burdock Muldoon. Burdock Muldoon, Chief of Wizards Council 1448 through 1450. Alright, we're going to exit the library. And as we go down the stairs, we're going to pass all these paintings. And we're going to go right towards the trophy cases. Clean off that sticky goop. And another card. Number 67, Justice Pillywickle. Justice Pillywickle, celebrated head of the Department of the Magical Law Enforcement. Okay, now we get to do more of the mini games. Gnome dunking, of course. Easy peasy, same as usual. Number 21, Lord Stoddard Withers. Lord Stoddard Withers, breeder of flying horses. Now we move on to Gnome Tossing, the bane of my existence. So many missed trials. Throwing, throwing, and then finally. At the meantime, like two game resets, we got our card. Number 17, Morgan Le Fay. Morgan Le Fay, King Arthur's half-sister, dark sorceress, enemy of Merlin. Alright, for wizard racing, we get three cards once more. Number 31, Balfour Blaine. We get a dupe of Balfour Blaine. Number 33, Beaumont Marjorie Banks. Beaumont Ma Marjorie Banks, pioneer of herbology and collector of many rare and magical flowers, discovered Gillyweed. Number 34, Donahan Tremlett. And Donahan Tremlett, bass player with the popular wizarding band, The Weird Sisters. Number 